What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with episode 10 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Sun. In the last episode, we got a lot accomplished. We saw two Pokemon evolutions of both Pikapak and Abra, and we defeated our first Totem Pokemon, completing our first trial, and now we're going to see what Illimum wants here back on Route 3, just outside of Vernon Cavern. Greetings, Captain Alima here. As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find Captain's Barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if they are escorted by a strong trainer. Those attempting the Island Challenge can pass through the barricades, as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? To behold the power of a captain! Wow, that's, that's some pretty cool power you got there, bruh. Voila! Your world just got a little bit bigger! I am the only captain here on Melee Melee Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform our island Kahuna Hala. I'm assuming that means I can go back to Iki Town at some point and uh, defeat my first Kahuna. There's Kukui though. Hey there, Daniel! Ooh, look at that expression on Alima's face. I'd say you cleared your first trial, yeah? Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Sea Power. Woo! Start by selecting a compatible Z Crystal from the Z Crystal's pocket in your bag, yeah? Use a Z Crystal that you, uh, you chose on a Pokemon. Z Crystals are compatible with a Pokemon if it knows a move or is of uh, the same type as the Crystal. Have your Pokemon hold Z Crystals, you'll be able to use Z Power in battles. And don't worry, you can use your Z Crystals over and over again on as many Pokemon as you want. Oh, cool, okay. Watch and learn, cousin! Oh boy, now we got the Z-Move tutorial, I suppose. Alright, while Professor Kukui is showing us the Z-Move tutorial, uh, let me go ahead and throw out the common question of the day. For those of you who have played the games, what is your favorite Z-Move that you have seen thus far? What's your favorite Z-Move? Let me know in the comments below. For me, thus far, from what I've seen, it's gotta be Decidueye Z-Move. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. Breakneck Blitz! I'm actually gonna go ahead and assume this is what the, um, Z-Move we got for having Normalium is. I uh, just fucked up that Growlithe. Looks pretty sweet. Probably use that next time I'm battling with uh, Route 1 Bird. Phew! Z Power heaps up all the trainer's feelings onto a Pokemon, yeah? Which totally wears you out. Using Z Power once per battle is all a team can handle, yeah? Oh, is that so? Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, is that why you've been looking so ragged, Professor? No, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere on Route 3. Think you could spare some time to help me look for her, Daniel? Eh, uh, sure. I'll be your errand boy. I can go and have a look around the cave for you in case you wandered that way. Thanks, cousin. Let's split up and find her, yeah? I'm gonna head this way. How about you guys? Still on Route 3. Island Challenge Marker. Congratulations on clearing the trial in Burning Cavern. Now it's time to take your Island Challenge while, ta er, while taking full advantage of your Z-Power. But remember, if you try using Z-Power and your move misses, it still counts as having used up your Z-Power. Ooh. Right, that's something to keep in mind. Still an accuracy check for some of these moves. Alright, we gotta watch out for shadows. Right, uh, let's go left. Oh, that's a, that is a trainer. I thought you were just an NPC. Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding these uh, well leads to victory. I'll tell you what, kid. There's only one thing that I need to understand to get to victory. It's the fact that I'm the protagonist and you are a faceless NPC with a Psyduck. Alright? It's the only thing I need to understand in order to win. Oh, and this is just perfect. I let off with my starter. Uh, by the way, why don't you don't grew to level 16 during that uh, cut that I made towards the end of the last episode where I was just making my way out of Vernon Cavern. So if you're wondering why Wanchi Tong is level 16 now, that would be why. 
Hopefully it evolves soon. Because it wasn't like Route 1 Bird where I purposely held off its evolution so I could show you on screen. Like, Wanshi's Hong has not tried to evolve yet. So I'm wondering when, that, uh, when that's going to be. Hopefully soon. Finish off of the peck. I don't even need to waste a Razor Wave on you. Goodbye. And Giovanni grows to level 16. Yeah, I'm going to do the care thing real quick. And we'll be right back. We'll raise that affection a little bit. Alright, let's move ahead. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we can find in this area of Route 3. Not before we get this item, though. Which is a Heal Ball. Okay, cool. Let's see if there's anything different on this area of Route 3. We consider this is all Route 3. I wonder how this would count for um, Nuzlocke's. Or Cutie Fly, which I already got off screen. Oh, by the way, I need to let you guys know. Uh, speaking of the Cutie Fly thing, if you remember a couple episodes ago, we ran to that woman in the uh, Route 3, or the Route 2 Pokemon Center um, that said she would pay us if we, uh, if we got a Cutie Fly and showed her, just like that woman in Howley City who said she'd do the same for Drifloon. Um, if you show Cutie Fly to the woman in the Route 2 Pokemon Center, she will give you 3,000 Poké Dollars. And then if you show your Drifloon Pokédex entry, you don't have to have it in your party, you just have to have it registered in your decks. Um, if you show the Drifloon Pokédex entry to the woman in Howley City's Pokémon Center, she'll give you 10,000 Poké Dollars. So, just something to keep in mind if you need a little uh, walking around money. Let's look. Let's do a couple more battles here and then we'll... Uh, Let's look for Lily. Ooh, a, a Mankey. I almost said Primeape. I mean, it was a Primeape. I'm technically not wrong, but, you know. Alright. Let's see if we just tried to kill it, Wanchiton. I think we can get away with one leafage. Okay, yeah, we're good. Just double resist that cry chop. Alright, let's chuck a ball. Yeah, let's get a Nest Ball. This is pretty much way lower than us. This is like... What, like seven levels lower than us? Yeah, this should be fine. This should be just great. Nice! Cut a makey! Very cool. And E Honda grows to level 17. Greater Dog grows to level 16. We need a Firestorm pretty soon. Who One Bird grows to level 16 as well. It's a level up party. Nice. Mankey, the pig monkey Pokemon. It can spontaneously becoming uh, become enraged. Everyone near it, uh, blah, blah, blah. everyone near it clears out as it rampages, and the resulting loneliness makes it angrier still. Aw, putty. Let's see, where are we gonna name you? Let's see if this will fit. Yeah, I think it should just barely fit. Brock Lesnar, or as Paul Heyman would say. Barack Lesnar! Let's right, send you to the box. Cool. Nope, he's gonna try and get out of this grass. Uh, let's see, one more wild Pokemon battle, then we'll uh, move ahead here. Then we got Spiro. Yeah, that's not worth sticking around for. You know what, why don't you talk? Just take care of this real quick, alright? Alright, down goes the Spiro, and we're moving on. Oh, we got another trainer. Let's do it. Do you have preferences about the type of moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? Uh, yeah, I like to move. Uh, I like to use moves that have coverage, so I cover all my bases. Rising Star Tatiana. Wait, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't Tatiana the name of a Disney princess? I swear that was the name of the main character in The Princess and the Frog. Tatiana. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. That was Princess and the Frog's uh, protagonist. Anyway, she's got a Petty Will. This is gonna do jack shit with this Mega Drain. Get a whole 1 HP back from that. Something like that. It wasn't much, and certainly not enough to live another pack. So goodbye. Fantastic. I want you to talk just about to level up to level 17. I'm not gonna tell you my move preferences. Shut up. All right, moving ahead. Ooh, there's an item over here. A sharp beak. Nice. There's the power of uh, flying type moves. I want it. Yo, know, it's about one of these flying Pokemon. I mean, as well, they're everywhere on this route. 
the Spiro. Alright, well that wasn't really worth trying to find out. Alright, why don't you toggle handle this thing real quick. Should get up to level 17 from this. So I may as well. Hit the old peck. Hopefully one more should do it. It's good because my defense is getting lowered. I don't want to get hit with a peck myself. Because that's definitely going to do some super effective damage. Ooh, we got the crit. Nice. That may have mattered just slightly. And Wachitong grows to level 17. Beautiful. Let's see. Anyone else going to level up? Nope. All right. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's time for my favorite middle evolution of the Alolan starters. Mother fucking Dartrix. Beautiful. Oh, just look at that fringe. So dapper, so handsome. Dartrix, the Blade Quill Pokemon. A bit of dandy, it spends its free time preening its wings. Its preoccupation with any dirt on its plumage could leave it unable to battle. Dude, same. Actually, same. Oh, whoop, there's an item. Another sharp beak. I'm getting sharp beaks all over the place. Let's move ahead if we can. Let's see if we can find Lily here on Route 3. Ooh, Melee Melee Meadow. A paradise for the Oricorio dance. Ooh, okay. Find Oricorio here. And we're also gonna find the plot! Nebby! Nebby, come back! Ah, Daniel. Nebby ran off into the meadow somewhere. Or into the meadow here, excuse me. Oh, perhaps over there. And right after it got into so much trouble on the bridge, too. What if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it could use to battle. I mean, it's kind of like, can't you just use its super OP blast everything away power? I mean, I would think that would be an option. Anyway, I'm getting a drink real quick. I don't want to throw a Repel down just yet because I want to see if there's anything interesting we can catch here. Obviously, Oracorio is going to be here, but... Let's see if we can actually run into one while we're doing this Nebby side quest here. We got a Metapod? Nope. Oh, look at it. It's so dapper! It's so cute! Give it the old peck. Yeah, nice. Nebby! Quit plotting away from Lily. You know how dangerous it is, apparently. Oh, you! Thank you, Daniel. I should thank Dartrix, too. Here, let me at least do this. And yeah, she's gonna heal us. Very nice, thank you. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by feeding off the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a sort of form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was, anyway. It is actually pretty interesting. Back into the bag, please, Nebby. I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. I mean, to be fair, you did kind of lead me into Oracorio Meadow. Hey, hey, Daniel! Oh, and Lily's with you, too! What are you up to, Hal? Just finished my trial, heh? <laughs> hey, Daniel! I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again! Well, that's probably why Lily fucking healed us before. 
Couldn't have been just a nice gesture. Nope, it was a pre-rival battle thing. Alright, fuck it. Bally Howl again. Got a couple of brand new Pokemon that are fully evolved in my arsenal. So this should not be too terribly difficult. And hit me with that little Razor Leaf, Wanchi Tong. Ooh, quick attack. That is gonna do Jack Squat. Almost killed with that Razor Leaf. Nice, nice. Ah, oh, crap. Play nice to get a lower my physical attack. I don't need that in my life. It's not great. Get out of my face! Real quickly, let me make sure things are still recording. Okay, great. Do I lose his progress? Your Populeo is still not evolved. I, I kind of feel bad. I feel kind of bad. Here, let me put you out of your misery. T take this razor leaf. Catch these leaves. I almost. Good two thirds. And goodbye. Nice. I almost love it well uh, level 18. Your Geller grows level 17. Still does not know confusion or anything like that though. It's a little worrying that it doesn't know a fucking attacking move. You learn Kinesis upon evolving, but not Confusion. So you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, Daniel? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. Well, maybe I am. I wonder if I'll ever really be able to beat my Gramps at this rate. Probably not. Hey there, Daniel. Knew I could count on you, yeah? Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this, then? How have you finished your first trial, too? I bet you used some style moves, yeah? <laughs> right. Hollis probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle that island's kahuna. Taking on the island kahuna in a battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be a judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch that Tailwind and blast through Route 3! Oh, you know what? I wonder if we can't just hook back around to Iki Town. I'm guessing that, like, one barrier that was blocked off before was Alima's barrier, because we haven't finished the trial. Okay, that makes sense. Because if we look on the map... Uh, I would like to look on the map, Rotom. I don't need a recap of the plot. God damn it. It's because I keep hitting this, the thing. Yeah, I would like to look at the actual map. Thank you. Oh yeah, see, Iki Town's like right down there. Let's head that away. See if I'm right. Oh, there's a dude. I'm a trainer who uses the right card item. I want to be shaken by your strength. I want to face you when you've shown me you can defeat every last trainer on Route Three. You know, what? let's let's do that real quick. But we're gonna do it in the next episode of Pokemon Sun. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Maybe I can learn to talk next time, I don't know. Thanks for joining me in this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you'll join me in the next one. Be sure to answer the comment question down below. Give this video a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more in the future. But until then, take care everyone, and I'll catch you later. Super Nerd Daniel, out!